You guys seem to really like Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, you watched Bonnie 170,000 times in one week? That's insane. But I'm not gonna stop you, so I'm gonna be making Springtrap, which looks like this or that. I'm not sure which one you want me to make, but if I were a betting man, I'd put my money on the one with all the wires, because that looks a lot harder. So let's get to it. So Springtrap is yellow, and in balloons, they only make two color yellows. They have like this really bright yellow, and they have this sort of orange yellow. I'm leaning more towards the orange yellow, mainly because Chico is bright yellow and I want them to look a little different. As always, I'm gonna start with the head. Did you know that at one time Springtrap was actually called Spring Bonnie? My wife looked up facts. She likes to help me. But Springtrap has a much different nose than Bonnie. This is gonna be hard. What do you think, does that look like his nose? Pretty good, right? Time for the eyes. Still looking too much like a cute bunny. Gotta make this creepier. Not there yet. All right, can you sort of see his face come together now? <laughs> okay. Oh! I scared myself. I hope that doesn't deflate on me. Well, that sort of messed everything up. All right, that's a little better. Although it looks a little bit like Winnie the Pooh, which is scary in its own way. So this here is like broken off halfway up. Sort of like that, I guess. And the other ear has like some gray in it. It's really hard to find photographs of this guy that show a lot of his detail. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use artistic liberty and my own imagination. Well, that one's just popping on me left and right. There we go, how is that looking for the head so far? Need some wires on that bit. I feel like red makes a good wire and maybe some gray. Those gray ones like to pop. This is really hard. All right, what do you think? Does that look messed up enough to be spring trap? Getting there. Needs like the black underneath the eyes and the yellow over the eyes. I don't know. I don't feel like that's really adding much. I feel like it's detracting from it. it makes it look more like Jake from Adventure Time. Maybe it's the really round eyeball areas. Let me try something different. All right, I feel that makes it look a lot more spring trappy. Still looks way too happy though. Usually that means I need to add the teeth. And as you guys pointed out in the last video, only teeth on the bottom, not on the top. Learned that lesson the hard way. All right, that definitely made it look creepier. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it needs some black in the middle. I think that helped a lot. What do you think? Still feel like it needs a little bit of black by the eyes. Let me try one more thing. All right, how does that look to you? I think that has just the right amount of creepy. He has guy liner. Okay, I'm really happy with the head. Now I gotta make the rest of him. Some more of his body. I know he's sort of round in the middle, but I think he should look more emaciated, like he hasn't eaten in a while. Is that a joke? I don't know. Maybe it's like the purple guy is not inside yet? I just attached that onto the wrong side. Oh well, I'm gonna go with it. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Let's attach the head onto the torso so we can keep proportions. I think the head neck thing might be too big. Gotta push it down some more. That might be too short. Looks like he has no neck now. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, let's keep going. He has arms. I'm having a real trouble trying to figure out how to like do the holes in the suit. I might just have to draw them on. All right, how is that looking? I think it looks pretty cool with like the gray in the middle of the joints. Makes it look really like robotic. His guy liner's coming loose though. There we go, much better. Needs another arm. Boom. Those gray sure do like to pop. Didn't scare me. All right, that, he is getting big. I can't make a single one of these guys small, can I? He is getting really huge. All right, gotta make the rest of them though. Gotta keep going. Ugh. Almost dropped it. I am getting tired. There we go, for a waist that doesn't look too bad, I think. Gotta still attach it. Left the space for his guts to hang out. His robotic guts. I feel like we should give him like more gray, like right in the middle. Doesn't need to be fancy. There we go, just like a little bit of gray in the middle. That'll be cool. All right, now we need his legs. And it looks like his feet are like just mechanical, like the fluffy big feet parts have all fallen off. I don't know, is that gonna be too big? Let's give it a try. I think it's gonna look okay. Let's give it a go. This is getting out of control. All right, I got one leg. How do you think? How does that look? Oh man, look how huge this thing is. I can never make anything small, can I? All right, needs another leg. Okay, you see like there are his feet, all mechanical and like, those things are humongous. I can't, I can't even fit them all in the same frame. Look at this, he's too big. I'm gonna try to give you a good shot of the foot. This thing is humongous and whoop, his foot fell off. I'm sure that never happens in the game. He really is coming apart at the seams. All right, I'm almost done. I'm just gonna add a few more details because he seems to have like wiring and stuff sticking out in places. So I'm gonna use that. Maybe a little bit there. I don't know, I feel like the more I add like details like that, the more it just makes it look like whiskers and less like wires. What do you think? Eh, I'm gonna leave it. As long as it's not symmetrical, I guess it looks okay. Gotta finish up his eyes. So it looks like his eyes are yellow in all the photos I've seen. So if his eyes aren't yellow, you have to let me know in the comments. Oh boy, this one was a real big challenge. And I think I put a lot more effort into it than I normally do. All right, I'm calling it, I'm done. Challenge completed. One spring trap made out of balloons. This thing is humongous and I could be adding detail all night if I wanted to. 
Look how humongous this thing is. I can't fit it like all in the frame at one time. But look at this. My favorite part is definitely like the guy liner and the little like wiring coming out of the ear. That's like my favorite detail of the whole thing. I'm really proud of it. I think I did a good job. But it doesn't matter what I think, what do you think? If you think Spring Trap here is a win, click that thumbs up button. If you think it's a fail, click the thumbs down button. If there are any other characters from Five Nights at Freddy's that you want to see me make, let me know in the comments below. As long as you watch them, I'll keep making them. And if there's a different character from a different thing, I'll make that too. You just gotta let me know in the comments. And if you don't want to miss out on my next balloon challenge, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on. That's that little bell icon next to the subscribe box. That way you'll get notified when I upload a new video. Till then, I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's. 